Hi, my name is Anna Brenda Germain. I'm a rising junior biology student with a minor in psychology at North Carolina a and University. This summer, I had the opportunity to work in Dr. Mahler's lab, which primarily focuses on addiction. My specific project was in regards to social seeking or social reward and the desire to be together. So we're aware that this is a human desire, but it can also be investigated in rodent models. So I've been working alongside my mentor, Erica, to investigate the GABA neurons that are in region ventral pallidum, which is a subregion that's known for drug and food reward. But we're interested in seeing if this region is also significant for social seeking. I'm most excited about the process that comes before actually analyzing the brain images. So in our case, it's the process that goes into immunohistochemistry, like the brain tissue mounting, brain slicing. I think a lot of the hands-on work is super cool. And I'm also super excited to investigate like the sex differences in the data that we're receiving. My favorite part of the summer outside of lab is exploring California with my cohort. I think specifically in July 4th, we saw fireworks on Newport Beach or Black Bay, and it was so cute. It was like the best time ever, so. Hi, my name is Erica, and I am now a PhD candidate in the model lab, entering my fourth year. And the lab focuses a lot on addiction, but I'm actually really interested in social reward. So my project has been looking at how the ventral pallidum is involved in social desires and looking to like GABA neurons and working in genetics to manipulate the behaviors and see how the GABA neurons actually influence this desire to be together. So while I've done a lot of behavior to show that these GABA neurons are involved in social reward, we still don't really know are they activated to a social stimulus. So right now Anna's project is looking into those GABA neurons and looking at CFOS. It's a marker for neuronal activity. And so she's quantifying, is there CFOS, is there neuronal activity in these VP GABA neurons when the animal is exposed to a partner or in isolation? So my goal in the future is actually to be a professor at a research university. So one of the things I love most about doing the research is actually mentoring undergrads. So I've really enjoyed having Anna this summer in the lab because it's a new experience. It's a new person to enlighten to the world of neuroscience. And so this has been really fun for me to get to have that experience with her. And I have a few other undergrads in the lab, but you know, training somebody for over a summer and seeing them get so inspired, it's really exciting because then they're going to take that interest and not just keep it here at UCI, but be able to branch out to more places. So it's been a really rewarding experience for me and hopefully for her too. I'm Dr. Steven Mahler, uh, a professor in the Department of Neurobiology and Behavior here at UCI and also the director of the Irvine Center for Addiction Neuroscience. Our lab is really interested in how addiction works in the brain. So this is a really devastating disorder a lot of people experience, and we really don't know a whole lot about how this actually happens in the brain. So the goal of our lab is to try to understand what are the, the factors that contribute to whether one develops an addiction or not, and what can we do about these addictions once they do develop. And so Anna's project has been looking at a relatively understudied feature of this disorder, which is changes in social behavior where we can really explore the mechanisms in the brain that are, that are occurring during the process of addiction and how social factors influence that. Do we have the similar brain substrates of social reward and drug rewards, for example? These are the kinds of questions that Anna's looking at by looking at neural activity in these animals that are undergoing these, these tasks at the intersection of social behavior and addiction. In the Mahler lab, we have a lot of undergraduate students come through our lab, both during the school year as well as uh, through a variety of summer research programs, including this HBCU. A collaboration with UC that, that Dr. Yasa has brought to our university. Um, it's been a fantastic program. We've participated for the last three years. Erica's had a really great time working with Anna this summer. She is you know, very interested in mentoring students. It's been a treat to have Anna with us and we look forward to the last few weeks we have this summer.